Hi guys, Inter Cleason again from Rampwix and I'm here today to tell you about scooter compressions. So first off, I'm going to be talking you through step by step how SES works, which stands for Standard Compression System. So this is all you need for SES. You've got your headset, your fork spacers, which depend on the length of your forks and your head tube. Uh, forks that are compatible with SES, your SES clamp and of course your scooter deck. So included in the headset, you got of course the two bearings, a compression disc and a top cap. And what you want to do is, you just want to slide one of the bearings over the forks, all the way to the bottom. Pop it through the head tube. Put your other bearing on the top of the forks, just so it sits nicely on there. And then you want to get your compression disc and just put that over and just click it in. So once your top cap's on, fork spaces are optional and I'll show you why now. So the reason that you need the fork spacer is because as you can see, there's a lip right in the middle of the clamp which separates the bars from the forks, what the volcano washer sits upon. And this tightens into the forks and if the forks is higher than the lip, then this will happen and it won't be tight enough. As you can see, the lip is now higher than the fork. Okay, so once that you're happy that the fork is lower than the lip, what you want to do is you want to drop your volcano wash it in. Just make sure that it's in the hole in the forks and you just want to tighten it to as, as hard as it'll go. So as you can see, USCS is now installed. So one key feature that you'll need to remember about USCS is that your bars cannot have a slit in like these ones do here. Because when you tighten them, when you put the bars in and you tighten the clamp, the bottom of the bars will bend in and then just slip out. And this can always be removed via an adult or a certified scooter shop. And please tune in next week to see my tutorial on HIC. <laughs> that sounds sick!